I'm absolutely freezing. Tom's behind the camera. It's six o'clock in the morning. It's an early start for us. We've got a busy day ahead. First stop this morning is definitely McDonald's for you to get a coffee and something to eat. Then Limbrook. Then we're going to be heading to the tackle warehouse and then finishing off at Menards or some, one, one of them ways round. But we're going to take you on our journey today and um, yeah, show you what we're doing. So the reason why we've stopped at the factory this morning, we're going to bang out the orders. We've got a few orders to get out for today um, and then box up the orders ready for the fisheries. So it's really exciting stuff as we move forward with Parker Bates. Uh, Limbrook have exclusively offered us a space to stock their shop on our own, so no other brands for 2023. So from January 2023, we'll be the exclusive stockist for Parker Bates at Limbrook Fisheries. Mate, it is dark out. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, it's very cold and very dark. <laughs> Um, I'll quickly run through the orders we've got in the back of my car then guys of where we're going now and yeah what parcels I've got. So first up we've got um, the Limbrook parcels which are them three there in excess of 50 kilo of bait, hook bait, sauces, every single thing that we do. Uh, Menard, same sort of story, we've got 10 mils and 18 mil baits, so the smaller baits and the biggest baits we do. Um, 20 mils and 22 mils to come in 2023 <laughs> and shelf life. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then we've got a box for the tackle warehouse at the back, which is just like a weekly top up, so it's not a huge box, um, but nevertheless, and some new signage as well. So let's get going. Happy days, the NOSA box. Uh, no thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers, buddy. So, to anyone that hasn't been to McDonald's, You've now got a caramel waffle latte, the mighty McMuffin, um, the ultimate hot chocolate, and then some other winter specials as well, so. <laughs> Get on it. I had the waffle one the other day, I can't lie. But I'm quite looking forward to my mighty McMuffin. <laughs> <coughs> Thanks mate, Thank cheers. You. Lovely. Gotta have some ketchup, haven't we? <laughs> right, time to head to Limbrook. Bosh, so we've turned up at Limbrook. Time to sort Liam out, give him the bait, and then move on to our next location. And hey, look at the dog. There he is, old Rambo. He's a smiley chap, isn't he? Look at that, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, how are you? How are you, buddy? <laughs> Right, so that is Limbrook all sorted and yeah exciting really excited going forward I'm really looking forward to working with these guys going into next year if you haven't seen Limbrook fisheries it's in the Ringwood area definitely 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 smash that in Google guys check it out for yourself and if not we also done some coverage on this um, on the Parker Brothers YouTube channel which was our social the Parker Bait social and like I said we didn't we didn't do too bad due to the conditions but the fish in this particular lake are absolutely mind-blowing so there it is and on to the next the next destination quarter to ten it's quite a bumpy track this and I love this area as well because there is lakes all round everywhere but next stop I don't know if I just mentioned but we're heading to Menards which is going to be our new stockist of ours but I'll touch base when I'm there Wow, we've just turned up at Menards and it looks absolutely mega here. And uh, Paul, the owner, has actually said, if you want to have a little walk around then, Tom, you can. So I think we're definitely going to do that. But um, we've already headed in. Tom's already there sorting bits and bobs out. I'm going to bring you in a second. Whether I get any footage inside, I don't know, but I'll keep in the loop. I'm sure I'll get a little bit. Um, but whether I do any talking bits in there, like I said, I don't know. But I'm really looking forward to showing your lakes. If you are down here on the complex, guys, you can see what it's all about. <laughs> Right, so here is the shop, guys. And um, obviously where you turn up, you pay your fees. Obviously you've got a book on here at Menards. You've got a ring up prior to coming down. They've got a NAS section in it, a quarter section, various um, cradles, mats, chairs, bed chairs, and obviously a selection of eight over the back. There, there's Tommy Boy. And uh, oh, I love this when you come into these places and you see the wall of fame, if you like, all the all the big fish over the years. And this used to have a fish that was just under 60 pound in back in the day. It's quite a historical place and a lot of background behind it and a lot of history. So yeah, without further ado, I guess we should crack on. There's the magic fingers and we're gonna uh, make it look magic over there with the Parker Bates set up. <laughs> So I'm in the shop, just finishing off the last bits now. We definitely need to do some more work down. I want to get some graphics put up um, to make it look nice and pretty in the shop. But um, what we're going to be offering here, so we're going to be offering tens. 
and 18s. 10s in the fruit and nut and the OG fish and the 18s in the same, the same flavours. We've also got a array of hook baits here. We've got the match and the hatches, the wafters. And the matches the hatches are going to come in the 10 mils and the 15 mils and i've also put a couple of pots of high visits in guys so if you are in grab them because i've just chucked them in for um paul so it just went live on our website i'm extremely happy to say that because they are a massive massive seller for us we've nearly sold all the pots already on our website we're also going to be offering magic dust the sauce uh, the sauces in both flavours, and being that our sauces are pure liquid food, no bulkers, no BS, it's a pure liquid food, and then the magic dust obviously consists of various different food particles. So that gives you a bit of an insight onto them. If you want to learn more about the products at Parker Bates, head over to parkerbates.co.uk, and there's all the full write up on there, all the intimate wording of exactly what the products are all about. So I better crack on, get this done. Oh, go on then. <laughs> 78. So also at Menards, we are going to be offering the flat spot, the famous flat spot, stinky, stinky flat spot, monster crab flavour, unbelievable stuff, one of our best sellers at Parker Bates. Uh, so we've decided we're going to go for a Fomex board sign here. We're going to wrap the top of the freezer on the top there uh, with a little bit of information about the bait and then wrap the front of the freezer there as well. And we're all good. Make it look pretty. Woohoo! As promised, as you can probably tell by my face, I'm quite excited. Um, Paul's just given me a lake map. So this is the lake map of Menards. It's got various islands in, various different depths, and plenty of swims that are sort of very easy available. So just over to my, my right here is a new setup they've done. They put this lovely fence in and give you some privacy when cars are turning. And if you're coming through the front here, Tommy, look, look at this. Look how posh this is. You can come in. You've got your own little bit of privacy, set your bivvy up, close the door, no dramas, and look at this. It's nice to see fisheries doing stuff like this because obviously the car park's there, there's a lot of people coming and going, um, and a lot of people wouldn't think of this. They would yeah. just stick someone in a bivvy here and not, not pay out and spend out money on extra stuff like this. So yeah, it's good to see. Water time as well, look down here. I love, I love the thing about the water is it is gin clear which one makes the, the fishing sometimes very tricky and it's definitely, they're definitely not crawling up your line in this particular lake. But yeah, just down there you can get a gauge of that. You can see how clear it is. You can see the bottom show, a little minnow going across the top of that clay there. Lovely. But yeah, let's um, head round then Tommy and explore a little bit, shall we? Peg two, plenty of space in this particular peg. Um, last time I come in before, I actually done all right. I was at the other end of the lake and it's the only time I fished it. I'm gagging to get back down and um, what I'll do is I'll put in the description down below the link to that video or head over to the channel and check it out for yourself but Tom come over here mate let's have a quick look gives you a bit of an insight into this peg and if you move up here with me mate loads of water to play with I've got a lovely little sort of gnarly overhanging tree there which I'm sure the fish get under um, very deep on the margins you can sort of see that straight it drops off straight away it really does drop off gin clear like I mentioned oh, very deep down here very deep and again look at that doesn't that look nice Picking it up, but don't know how it look nice, mate. Let's move on. <laughs> the sun's right in my eyes, but this is peg three. You got peg four over there, and um, again, two pegs with. They all look sexy. <laughs> all the pegs look good, and I would fish any one of them. And I, like I said, it's sort of a lake. I'd rather really like to get my teeth into because there really is some proper, proper nice old English fish within this lake. So. Again, follow me, we'll head round. Right, well they've certainly been busy at Menards. They've built this beautiful uh, bridge, sturdy bridge. Very accessible now for disabled people. And um, round there is just where I'm fishing, which I'll show you in a second. But now you've got the flexibility to fish this bit. Before, the fish could not travel through here. Now they can. Another place where I'm sure fish are going to be really inquisitive and go round and find out where their new home is, etc. So yeah, follow me. Right, so you have now, this is the bit where I've just, just round from the bridge and um, I believe there's three pegs now in this section. You can't all fish at the same time, so obviously give yourself plenty of flexibility so people aren't casting over their own rods. But again, all is in great depth on their website with the lake map. So before, they, well, to be honest, this is absolutely crazy. Before you couldn't get up here, this was, a, this was a path I could walk straight across, but now there's water there. So we get, again, give more access into this bay into this new bay they've created here at menards so let me come down here and tell you exactly what i've done to catch the golden nugget last time i was here right so this is it this is where it happened in this particular peg here so you got you got five and six so when i was fishing here so you had nick here 
he was in five and I think this one's six. This is a particular peg that I was in. So what was I doing? Let me give you a quick insight. So last time I was here, I managed to nick a fish just to my left, just underneath the tree down here. I think it was just over 20 pounds off the top of my head. Again, go over to the channel guys, check out for yourself. And then that last morning, the mist was coming over. It, it just looked right. Everything about it looked just right. And then um, I, was, I remember having my tips up, looking at my bivy and that, and it was my middle rod. <laughs> Nearly pulled the rod and I've come out my bivy, scrambled, hit into it. And um, that was the rod I put out on the pole, on the baiting pole, something quite slightly different. I actually put quite a lot of bait over it. I was fishing the fruit and nut over the top, loads of the fruit and nut over the top, come back, back out again, dropping a bit more, come out, going out again, dropping it more. And I managed to nick it on an OG fruit and nut, a little pink pop up over the top, just over the back, real small, real intimate. And that done me that fish in what that a moment was it was. Just out there. Yeah, so let me point out for you the guys, Tom. Like you just mentioned, sorry, that's my that's my fault, I should have showed you. So I was actually fishing, I was lining up with the middle of the reeds and it was out exactly oh, okay. 12. Just slightly over. Yeah, just, just, right just slight, yeah, in the middle of the reeds. Yeah. And it was tw it was 12 metres out. My pole's 12 metres. So I was literally going out to the max, lining it up with the down here with the back of the pole, yeah. lining the part and dropping it straight away. And then repeating the process to build up that big pile of bait. And then it took, that, I had a rod on that primarily most of the time, but it took two days for the fish to go down and in the end it did, and that was the big one. So very quickly guys, I'm pretty sure this is peg seven. Across, the, across from the other side was where I was fishing, where I've just mentioned. We've just now walked round and come to this point. I'm going to make it quick. I physically can't touch on every single swim, but I just want to give you more of a taste in your mouth of what this fishery is all about. You ain't quite got the full reaction, but I've just started jumping up and down, going absolutely nuts. The time he goes, what? what? I goes, mate, an absolute nosser pig. And when I say nosser pig, that was a good 30. It was about that wide. It's just jumped out the water. It's come out once. Me and Thomas sat there, and then it's come out again. It's breached again. And there's, a, there's an angler, just start trying to keep my voice down. There's an angler in that peg, just up for him. That's well within his water. So I'm gutted I didn't get it on video, but God, that ain't gonna get you excited. I don't know what will. <laughs> Right, so there it is. That was a little bit more of an insight on menards. I didn't want to go in every peg. I think there's a few um, people angling down there, so I don't want to disturb anyone or get in anybody's way. But yeah, what a place, what a beautiful place it is. And like I said, I'm pleased to announce now Parker Bates is on in their sort of shop. I was going to say online shop store then. It's on, on, our, on our online store. It's in the shop now and you can get it in hand when you're here at the fishery itself. So that's exciting. But now me and Tom, I've got to go on our next journey to the tackle warehouse. By the way, anybody who watches the channel knows I'm quite a tight bloke and I've had the same stuff for years and years and years and years and years. And um, my brother's treated me to a new, uh, I'll let you know when we're at the tackle warehouse, it's exciting stuff. <laughs> right then guys, we've just turned up, oh Jesus Christ, Moses. we've just turned up at the tackle warehouse and um, coming with their weekly stock and it's quite nice because normally we send it down but obviously we've just been so busy and obviously where we're out today it's been nice to pop down because we're going to tart up some bits down here shall we say I'm quite looking forward to that and I'm sure we're going to keep you in the loop. Yeah. All fresh as well mate. Yeah. All so, fresh. Okay, mate, right then guys I am pleased to say we are now fully restocked at the Tackle Warehouse. Now there's a couple of things I want to just quickly touch on. Um, we've come down, obviously all this bait is cooked fresh. We cook our bait on a weekly basis. We send all this down on a weekly basis. So therefore all the stuff in here has not been sat in here for months and months and months and months. It's all fresh. So let me touch on that. So we've got the 10 mils we offer here. Sorry Tom, I'm making it hard for you. So we've got the 10 mils we offer here. We've obviously got the, the paste as well. This is in its natural form. It hasn't been touched by a ball or a steam, therefore it will break down quicker than the boilies itself. You can wrap it around your leads, wrap it around your boilies, um, take little chunks off, feed it within your, your mixes, flick it on the margins, etc. You've got um, our 14s in fruit and nut. If you come over this way, Tommy, we've got our 10s. 18s and 14s as well and again that is in our fish all cooked fresh and all ready to go so there we are fully restocked in there moving on we've got our i like to say famous sources now because they really are becoming one of our one of our most bought products on our personal store so parker baits the source og fruit and nut and we've got the og fish these are pure liquid foods no but no bulkers no bs um just pure liquid foods um this is pva friendly as well and really is a great product you can add it to your um spot mix inject your pva bags with it so on so on so on 
We've got a array of hook baits here and all of the hook baits we offer as a brand, your pinks, your whites, your match of the hatches and finishing off with these bad boys. And again, another personal favorite. They are the OG wafters. They're called dumpy dumbbells in both flavors. Got the magic dust again fully restocked on that now we are sending some more flat spots there um, plenty of bait sprays great for this time of the year putting on your zigs um, spraying it over your singles etc etc himalayan rock salt plenty of that in there and then one pot of the high visits we will be sending more of these down very very soon so john's just made a valid point just give me these air drying bags for your boilies and he's also said if you come into the tackle warehouse you buy some parker baits products you throw one of these in free if you don't want to use it for your boilies you can use it for storing other things happy days so as you guys know if we're going to do things we're going to do it properly and as we build our relationships with new new customers new friends uh, of parker baits we said we would offer uh, john at the tackle warehouse some new signs obviously parker baits branded so we're going to wrap one of the windows behind me and also replace this sign just over there so we get on with it now get the grip fill out and stick it on well out of the old and definitely in with the new <laughs> don't that look good don't that look good tommy boy so i'm going to touch basically in a second when it's all done and i'll get you a better better angle should we say here he is job number two done so that's the, that's the tackle warehouse fully restocked the sign put up at the front we've got one more job to do Well, I'm one happy man, and I've got my new bivvy, and of course, I've bought it from the Tackle Warehouse. We'll be coming to the Parker Brothers Channel very soon. So what's oh, that bit? Yeah. We went into the cap, the cap, the main cap for the bivvy. Again, I don't know too much on this, but again, something I may do a review on this on the channel. Um, we've dropped off everything, we've got a few other goodies in here, and again, something else that you may be starting to see in orders, but I want to be a little bit quiet about that. Again, from the Tackle Warehouse, so thanks very much, John. So there it is, that ends this week's video. If you have liked this video guys, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you same time next Sunday, December 3rd. All the best, peace out.